New developments in the debate over President Biden's COVID-19 relief plan. Republican lawmakers say they've come up with their own plan and they want cooperation. As ABC's Zareen Shah reports, this is happening alongside a big push to get Americans vaccinated. The debate over President Joe Biden's 1.9 trillion COVID relief package continues in Washington. The president had hoped for bipartisan support, but on Friday, seeming to indicate he's willing to move ahead without it. The COVID relief has to pass. There's no if, ands, or buts. Ten GOP senators have sent a letter to the White House asking for a meeting to discuss a compromise. We've received the letter and we certainly will be reviewing it over the course of the day. The GOP's proposal is about a third of what Biden is calling for. With regard to the direct payments, we think they should be much more targeted. $50,000 cap for individuals, for, as an example, 100000 for a family. But Senator Bernie Sanders believes Democrats can get it done, even without bipartisan support. Hard for me to imagine any Democrat who doesn't understand the need to go forward right now in an aggressive way to protect the working families. Meanwhile, the push to get Americans vaccinated continues. Many waiting in line for hours, others struggling to get an appointment. I have never, ever gone through anything like this. Some say these challenges with the vaccine rollout are not surprising. Our, our public health system has been underfunded for decades. And the idea that the health, the public health system can stand up that quickly to do something on this scale is, is, is something that, that just can't happen. Zorin Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles. Kansas Senator Jerry Moran was one of the 10 senators who wrote to President Biden. He says he hopes the president accepts the offer to work together on COVID relief. Some experts say we should be prioritizing the first vaccine dose. Dr. Michael Osterholm advised President Biden's transition team. He says the administration should give as many first doses as it can before giving second doses to people that have already gotten one. So we still want to get two doses in everyone, but I think right. right now in advance of this surge, we need to get as many one doses in as many people over 65 as we possibly can to, to reduce the uh, serious illness and deaths that are going to occur over the weeks ahead. Johnson County, Kansas is moving ahead with COVID vaccination plans for this week. First responders and teachers can get their first dose this week, along with special education staff and staff at the Kansas School for the Deaf. Healthcare workers will also be in line for their second dose. The county health department will continue vaccinating people 80 and older. The county has a form for you to fill out first on their website. Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools will have a special session of fall sports that starts tomorrow. That new season will have minimal interference with spring sports Students will not be able to play on two different sports teams at the same time. Athletes do have to practice for 10 days before they can compete.